Hi everybody, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body in Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago. I love this painting I found. Someone painted it and I was lucky enough to find it. I uh, was almost guided to it. How are you today? I hope that you're staying well. In today's video, as you can see, our couple is in quarantine. And they're feeling a lot of things because the feelings are welling up. The emotions were on the rising side of the full moon here. And the full moon is bringing a lot of things out and people are feeling it. They're feeling it. She misses him terribly. And it might seem like there's a wall between them. He misses her. And despite the fact that they're in two separate places and they feel and they miss each other, okay? Sometimes she gets tired. Sometimes she gets tired of doing this twin flame thing. Sometimes she's tired of putting forth and putting forth. And sometimes he's tired of upholding everything as well. And part of him is secretly relieved that he finally gets to rest during this quarantine. She's a little worried that, you know, he might forget her. And there's a reason for it. It's because someone has a karmic. And so what do you do in that situation when someone has a karmic? Well, I wrote this in my book about twin flame relationships. And the thing about relationships is that you have new parts of yourself that are able to help you navigate this. Brand new connections and your higher self needs you to use the connections and not your mind, not the worry vibes, not the frustration vibes, not the worry warts, not the anger, not the um, sense of grief, those don't help anyone, but they will still come up. So what do you do about it? Well, I'm going to be going over this in my brand new workshop that I'm having. And as I do the workshop, I will be including my relationships book. It has a 30-day journaling exercise for you to do. And we're going to cover specific topics so that you can learn from a master, meaning I have already mastered this and I've been doing it, what to do. Oops, let me pull this back here. How to navigate relationships of all types, especially for married twin flames or if one of you is married. And if you're married, you're in karmic living if that person is not your twin flame. Even if you're with your twin flame, you should pay attention to what I have simply because learning to engage your subtle body connections will only heighten your experience of being with your twin flame, especially if your field of expertise is something else. Maybe you're an architect. Maybe you um, are a lawyer or you go to a job or something like that you will still need to know about your subtle body connections. You can always, not always take it for granted that you're, you know, all of the information is going to get through to you concisely, especially if you're busy. So making the time, making a dedicated time for yourself to be able to do some of this is key number one. Number two is learning it. And number three is putting it into practice and maintaining it. So relationships of all types surround the twin flame lovers. And yet you're in the process where you're getting rid of a lot of things inherently because you have to. Discarding things and picking and choosing and sifting is an absolute given right now. And you might be doing that in your house while you're in this uh, lockdown part. 
you know, you might be saying, well, you know, we're going to set up a lot of things to donate, even though they're not taking donations right now. We'll just get it all ready. We'll clear the closets. We'll um, clean out the cabinets. We'll do a little bit of Equinox cleaning. But who is in your house and how are they affecting you? Because while this has started, this is going to have sort of a novelty factor. It's new. It's an enforced slowdown. You literally have to like stay in place, stay home, not get out at all or too much. You have to be able to make nice with the people you're with. But what if they're getting on your nerves? And what if you're going, my God, I can't even meditate. Oh my God, these kids are getting on my nerves. Or maybe you're accustomed to having a lot of freedom. And yet now everybody's just, you know, sorting out the chores. What if you live with in-laws? What if you live with roommates? What if people are judging you? What if they're hostile to you or toxic? How do we get rid of these patterns that have plagued relationships for lifetimes, decades, centuries? How are we going to coincide with our galactic history that is now closing? We've closed the door on this galactic history. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is do not give in to the fear mongering. Like it or not, this is the ascension. And this ascension is including the body. So this is not just the mind. It's not just finding out about ascended beings. It is for you to engage your body and get yourself elevated above the level where these things happen. Now I'm going to say something else of a caveat. Do not assume that because you have a light body, you cannot get sick or ill. You have a light body that is within your human body and above you. It's still incumbent on you to do what you can to maintain your human body and to protect it. And your twin flame body helps you with that because as you work with me and as you start to open and expand the proper channels, your high heart connections, as you clear things out, you get more clarity, you get the proper guidance, and some of that guidance has to be, what are you going to do? Or what are you going to do for a living? Or how would you um, promote yourself? Or how would you go back to work and just be amongst colleagues and not feel like you're going to have a breakdown? Or that they will have a breakdown and affect you? How will you be able to go out in the sun and know that you're getting your vitamin D and still you know, not feel so affected by solar flares and things like that? Yeah, it affects everyone when it's really huge. But there's times when it doesn't affect me at all. I sleep at night. I get rest. I feel the vibrations. But you're transcending because when you have an expanded light body, you're not affected. It's like having something that's really tight that gets affected or something that's like this where, you know, it's less than a, of an effect. So what about roommates? If you really can't change your situation right now, you can't find another place, you can't go live with your twin, your twin can't come to you. What about that? So I'm going to be talking in here of how to, very specifically how to where each day we're covering a how to, how to with toxic people, how to clear the karma. What if you're seeing the same person for every meal, every single meal? What if you're going through food phases? What if, and this is another thing in this energy, you're having urinary tract infections. You have a, something that feels like a bladder infection. You have back pain. Your eyes are bothering you. Your joints feel kind of strange. It's part of this. And I'm here to help you with it so that you can integrate your twin flame body and utilize these subtle body connections. You might be feeling triggered and triggers are going to come because that is the nature of getting things out of you. The triggers will come from the entire universe, including your whole cosmic 
history is coming home to roost here. And you don't have to let it all reside in you because the key is to get it moving, get it transmuted, get it purged. And if you're not really sure what to do, you should have a session with me because I am an expert and I am a specialist in getting the exhaustion moving and getting things into place to help you integrate your brand new template. Now, the template is a structure, which I explain in my book, of how it's the template of relationship from 5D. And what that means is, if you're doing something from 5D, it means more functionality. It means more rejuvenation. It means more reciprocal relationships. It doesn't mean that you're here to support all of the karma because karma ended and that was the plan for this new decade is to be new. The whole last decade was like a huge grace period. And I understand people have their reasons, which are usually um, based in certain fears. Okay, it's not mortal fear, but it's that fear of like, but what about the children? Or I really don't trust my spouse to do the right thing with the kids. I'd better stay. Or we made a plan that, you know, three years from now we're going to do this. This stuff is going to cut to the chase for you so that you are not doing five years of marital or relationship counseling. There's no time for that for some of you. Some other people, I don't even think if they find what I have to offer, they're going to find that they start to shift things very rapidly. It does take a minimum of a month from the time you do some higher level work until things show up in your physical life. That's a given. But if you're not persistent, it takes, it's going to take even longer. It's going to take some people into the following year. Exhaustion. How functional are you if you are flat out and you're just plain exhausted? So you know, these are just some of the topics that I touch on. Who are you looking at over the meals? And how are you going to clear out seeing that person so you can see who you love? And not only that, you can see it in a higher way. Because a lot of people are like, well, I hear my twin flame over here and they do that. I'm going to give you one caveat here. If you're hearing all kinds of weird stuff, that's not a good connection. If you're hearing things that are loving, encouraging, boosting you, helping you get through the day, yes, but it shouldn't be here, it needs to be here. So that is also what I help with. And part of how that happens is, okay, you have to continue your ascension trajectory. You have to get the subtle body movement to get out of you what doesn't belong, what you're not supporting, what you're not caring, you cannot carry soulmates. You can help children. You can help elderly parents or people you care for. You cannot carry soulmates. You can't have, you know, there's, the heart doesn't want polygamy. The heart doesn't want um, things that, you know, there's too many other people's energies there. Are there too many masculine energies around you? And it's hard for your twin flame to feel you. It's like static. What about, you know, gay people? Yes, gay people. What's going to happen with you? You're going to feel each other. Gay men will start to feel their male twin. And you're going to feel some of the things that have uh, worked in their childhood against them. You're going to feel the energies of other men that have been against them. You're going to feel aspects of violence that they've had to deal with in this life or another life. It gets kind of strange. What about gay women? Yeah, you will have things. You're going to feel her menstrual cycle, like it or not, even if she's gone into menopause. You're going to feel cycles of stuff. And I'm here to help you with that, to make it easy, to tell you what supplements, to tell you what to do, to help you navigate the energies. And I strongly encourage you, have a session um, for 
the spirit subtle body integration, you need at least a few sessions. I am doing a 30 day workshop class because some of my work is for, let's say behind the scenes, it's for at night. My sleep and ascension book is for at night. My inner healing book is about the care and feeding of your uh, twin flame body. But this book, this is for your waking daylight hours and how to do some stuff, how to do it and get it favorable, how to get it um, where it's it's like working for you, okay? Emotions are going to come out. Like I say, the couple, they're going to feel things. They're each going to feel things. And I'll say two things about this. First, you're entitled to your feelings but you're not entitled to dump it on you and nor is anyone really entitled to dump on you. And two, you're gonna feel things you never even thought you were capable of. You're gonna have things that you feel that might pertain to your childhood. And this is not a motivational thing to tell you, oh, everything's gonna be okay. This is a motivational thing to tell you that you need to get it going and you need to get movement. Otherwise, you stagnate. Otherwise, what happens in karma is your resources and your energy gets drained. I'm here to help you so that if you are cooped up with someone, and it's going to be a while, if you've made a decision to stay with a karmic or your twin has made a decision to stay with a karmic, how do you break away and have a proper relationship so that you can get your needs met? I mean, it's not needy to need your needs met. It's not needy to say, I just can't concentrate here. I can't meditate. I feel panicky. I feel nervous. That's not normal. That's not normal. And yet a lot of people are going through it. That's not your new normal. And for the past two years, when people have had ascension symptoms, that's the main thing I've told them. It's not your new normal. There is a new normal. So check the links below or write to me at twinflamebody at gmail.com. When you join my class, my class is, um, let me get this here. This is a good number for a lot of people. My class is 144 for 30 days. And this works out to about $8, which is, this is an infinity per day. Okay. So if you like that kind of stuff, but the link is below. It is twin plane relationships and your love life. Because this is the thing, sometimes people have gotten to the point where they hear the word twin flame and they're like, oh, it's too painful. I was rejected. I was hurt badly. I got hurt again and again. No, 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 no. Let me help you because that's not a new normal. That is not normal. Okay, no, not only is it not normal, it's not your new normal. Abusing kids is not normal. Being sick all the time is not normal. Having chronic illness is not normal. There's a lot of things that you're going to realize as the more that you work with your body of what feels good and what is part of the past that we would, you know, we've taken it for granted. Well, it's normal. Well, some people do that or some people are functional on, you know, this or that. No, there is an absolute new normal where your twin flame body is intended to um, care for you because it's you. This is not really a separate part of you. And a lot of people separate their body because, you know, they say I'm some spirit somewhere floating around. Well, why does it feel like that for you? You're you. Your higher self is you. Your soul is you. But it feels separate because of the things we've been through. It's that simple. The things you've been through that you've had to detach yourself and or you've had to like set aside a part of yourself. Those times are done. That is the galactic history that we, cosmic galactic, that we get to close the door on now. Now it's time to get things to a real normal. So reach out to me. 
check the link below. I am starting on the day of, um, I'm starting in a short while here in a few days on the day of the full moon. I'm running it from full moon to full moon. So it's intended to take into account those energies where you will get some uh, awareness through me of some guidance, things to do, how to like ride the energy waves, because a lot of people haven't really learned that. And I do put some of that in my book. So there's a lot of great stuff in this book. There is a 30 day journaling exercise to help you on your journey. And it's going to help you to know you. And that was inspired by a song, you know, some line in a song that I heard. He knows me better than I know myself. But let me tell you something. That's beautiful if your twin flame knows you better than you know yourself. But it's still incumbent on you to know yourself. Because when it comes to men, they want a woman who's not, you know, wishy-washy. They want someone who knows themselves. When it comes to women... They want a man who is confident and also knows himself. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the relationship is. If you're two women, you don't want to be each other's mamas. You want to be lovers and partners. And that is what this is intended to do, is to not only help you be a proper loving partner who's strong and confident and resourceful, it's intended to help your other half, even if only one of you joins. So thanks so much for watching and the links are below or reach me. Thank you. Bye.